Hello. So I'm looking a little bit bare, as you may have noticed. And that is because one, I've been in a lockdown for the last three months here in the UK. We are not living our best lives. And two, I'm going to be doing a little tanning routine today. I haven't fake tanned or just tanned naturally in general anyway for at least a year. <laughs> the last time I got on a plane was February 2020 and life's just not been good ever since guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick myself up a little bit today. I'm actually gonna be trying today a new fake tan that I've never used before and it's in this box here. It's by Coco and Eve and I've actually tried their hair mask which I really really love but I've never tried their fake tan or any of their other products so I'm really excited to try this. I've heard good things. I'll do like a little unboxing first of everything that came in the box. First thing, we have this, which is the Sunny Honey Soft Velvet Self Tan Mitt. And it comes in a lovely little Ziploc bag, which is actually really handy because obviously once you wash your mitt, you're gonna wanna put it in a place where it doesn't get wet on anything else. This is perfect. I love the color of these products. It's like a pink and a yellow theme throughout and I'm really here for it because yellow is my favorite color. Then we also have this little cute brush this is a kabuki 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 i love that word but i don't know how to say it and this is actually used to buff in the difficult areas so like knuckles elbows i've seen a hack go around which is where if you take like a brush and you take your fake tan and you can like buff it into places where you want to be contoured like you can do cheekbones so i might try that today with this thing we'll see how that goes then i got the coco and eve sunny honey bronzing face drops in medium glow and you add it to your moisturizer and it gives you like a nice glow on your face and then finally we have the barley bronzing foam this is the actual fake tan that i will be using today really giving me summer vibes which is what i need in my life right now infused with raw virgin coconuts botanicals and amino acids to hydrate and firm skin that's good because i have notoriously quite dry skin you might be able to tell from a few patches on my face i'm actually using oh that one's actually really bad I don't know, it's dry. I'm using retinol at the moment and I'm like in the first couple of weeks of using it. So I think it kind of makes your skin worse before it starts making it better. Um, so that's probably why I'm a bit red. But in general, my skin is more dry, I would say, than not dry. I like to use oils at night and stuff to hydrate. So this is good if it's hydrating. It also says it's enriched with barley inspired ingredients such as mandarin oil and natural antioxidants, including fig, banana, papaya, and cocoa to help improve signs of aging. Good, because I'm 28 <laughs> and I'm close to 30 and that means I'm old. And I did find a grey hair the other day. Lightweight, non-sticky formula, perfect. I hate sticky fake tans. Fast drying and develops in just two hours. That is amazing. Normally I leave them overnight and it kind of ruins my bed sheets every time. So today I'm not going to leave it on overnight. But what I am going to do, because it's kind of late, getting late in the day now and the natural lighting will be gone soon, I'm going to apply this fake tan and then I'm going to leave it for like I think three or four hours then I'm going to wash it off before I go to bed and then I'll show you the final result tomorrow when I've got some natural lighting back. So this actually has like zero nasty stuff in it. It's 100% natural and it says it has no sulfates, no toxins, no parabens, no silicones and no other harmful chemicals which is great if you've got sensitive skin or dry ass skin like me and it's also cruelty free and vegan so so far all good let's get naked and do this oh shut up that smells absolutely insane so i just checked the smell and it's balinese mango and guava and i can tell you it smells like a cocktail so good oh my god i'm broom oh my god the way that glides on you getting this? Oh my God, it blends so easily, boys. That is what I love to see. So the shade that I got was dark, and it is dark. I probably could have even gone for the ultra dark, to be honest. Just gonna do a bit more on my neck. Whenever I fake tan, this section always is the most pale. Like it doesn't normally take to the tan, as well as like my arms and my legs for some reason. So I like to do a little double layer. You know, it's a good sign when you haven't even washed it off yet and it's already looking pretty good like there's not really any streaks i've not even gone in the shower yet i'll probably go out with it just like this to be honest 
the first time I ever did fake tan, I just thought that you put it on and you didn't wash it off. I think we're looking pretty good so far. <laughs> right, now let me show you my party trick. So, I think I said this in another video actually, but I have this talent where I can grab my shoulder blade from behind, but it sticks out quite far. But that does mean that I can fake tan my own back, no problem. So then watch this. Yeah, buddy. It's a gift. Also, it might look a bit weird here, but they are just scars. I went to a wedding and I was wearing a dress that I couldn't wear a bra with, so I stupidly decided to put sports tape on my chest to lift my boobs up because it was like a uh, whole to neck. And it was a really hot day and halfway through the day I was like, oh, my skin's ripping off. And the tape was ripping off my skin, so that's why I've got those scars there. That literally took me less than a minute. <laughs> Okay, so the first layer is on. So everything's gone a little bit darker, so the lighting may have changed. So saws about that, so hopefully you don't mind. But I'm just gonna use this brush now, the Kabuki brush, and I'm gonna go into the small places it recommends, like my elbows, and um, behind my ears, and the knuckles and stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna do my wrists as well, actually, because sometimes they can get a bit creasy. I quite like this, actually, because it means you only put a small amount on those places rather than loads, which makes it go patchy which makes a lot of sense. This is the great thing about the brush, you can just blend it so much better. Right guys, we have an issue, but I'm hoping it's just for now and tomorrow when it washes off it will look okay. Like you can just see here where my skin is so dry. It's literally just, you know what this actually might be? This might just be my redness shining through. <laughs> Trying to have its moment in the spotlight. Cause I had that at the beginning, didn't I? Maybe that's just made it temporarily a bit darker. Who knows, we'll find out. So what I'm gonna do to try and balance out now, I'm gonna take the bronzing drops that I got and I'm gonna take my moisturizer and use that hopefully bronze up my face and make it more even because I've been looking like a clown right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a bit of moisturizer. I'm gonna add some drops and then I'm just gonna add that to my face. And hopefully the magic will happen. I'm gonna leave it on for about six hours and then I'm gonna have a shower just before I go to bed. And then I'm gonna show you in the morning what it looks like. I'm hoping the shower sorts out this situation. But like I said, I am using retinol, which makes my skin super, super dry on my face. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Good morning. Here we are. This is the result after washing it off last night and then sleeping on it. I also moisturized last night just to lock everything in. I like to do that whenever I fake tan. It's moisturized every day. But I have to say, I love this fake tan. <laughs> I think it just looks mad smooth. This is definitely redness, like these patchy bits are definitely just dry skin from the retinol. Since sleeping on them, they've definitely gone down but they're still there a little bit, but this is definitely not the tan, like the tan hasn't even taken to those bits really, it's just a bit of redness. But I don't really mind about that, I know that it'll go down once my skin gets used to the retinol. But other than the retinol patches on my face, I think the tan did such a good job at contouring my face, like you can definitely tell on my head here. My cheeks have taken a little bit as well, but I really like this part here, I think this looks good. I'm gonna do that every time I fake tan now, just to do that with my face, because before I was just putting it all over my face and it looked a bit crazy, but this just makes it look really natural, I think. So I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some like full length shots now, but then I'm gonna put some makeup on so you can kind of see what it looks like when I look a bit more glam, because I'm going to meet a friend today. It's the first day that we're allowed out of lockdown. Um, but it's the first like stage out of the roadmap, so I'm going to meet a friend in the park. But I do just think like having a tan makes me so much more confident about myself. Like I don't know why I don't do it more often. Like I love how I look with a tan, and that was really really easy to apply. Like it literally took like five seconds per limb. So yeah, that's going to be my mid-year resolution <laughs> to fake tan more. And just like that, I'm looking more alive than I have done in months, people. But yeah, this is what it looks like with a face on. I'm really, really happy with this tan. I'm definitely gonna be using this now. And just quickly before I let you go, if you do like this tan and you wanna get your own, then I've left all the links in the description box to go straight to buy it. And Coco and Eve have also set me up with a discount code for you guys. So if you use this code here, you can get 10% off at checkout. You're welcome. 
So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to comment down below and also comment down below if you've tried this tan before and if you like it and what you think of it. If you haven't already and you would like to please make sure to subscribe for more videos. You can also follow me on Instagram here and I'll see you in the next video. Happy road out of lockdown day to everyone in the UK. Sending love to everybody else in the world because I know it's very difficult right now and yeah I'll see you soon. Bye!